Welcome or welcome back. So if you're anything like me, your digital style and your traditional style, traditional style <laughs> might not look the same. My traditional style is very line art based, whereas my digital art style is typically more loose. It's more, I don't know, it's just loose. It doesn't have a lot of line art to it. So today I want to try to make a meat. This is a print of a digital piece that I did, this little ghosty. They're available in my shop. The link is below. But it's really cute. I like it a lot. It's a great piece, but I've never been able to get anything like this traditionally. So today we're going to try. My preferred painting vessel is wood. I really like wooden, hello? I really like wooden canvases like a lot. I don't much care for normal canvases because of all of the give. I don't remember where I was that I found these chunks of wood, which really cool. So I think I want the orientation to go like this so that the natural wood is on the bottom. So I want to gesso this to make sure we keep the nice and smooth look and so that the paint doesn't soak in to the wood. Traditional art is probably the hardest for me. I have trouble getting brushes and stuff to act the way I want them to. So I'm always just kind of lost. <laughs> going to start trying to get a little bit of the grass going. I feel good about the grass region. It looks good. Now I think I need to do the details on the ghost.
So here is the final piece. And there's the palette. <laughs> you can see all the different browns I mixed to get hello, the grasses. So this is the next day and this is it in the natural light. I think it looks so good. So I use a brush and just go over it. I try to remove any dust lint cat hair in my situation. <laughs> All right, it's looking a little cloudy. <laughs> we'll see if it dries down. I completely forgot that my satin varnish is kind of trash. I don't know why, but it ruins things. And I didn't remember that before I put that on here. So I had to redo the whole thing, but I think it still looks good. I can't really tell much of a difference. So success. <laughs> Okay, so the last thing I'm going to do now, I'm not gonna varnish it at the moment. I'm gonna let this dry since I just finished painting it. I'll come back to varnish this later and I'm gonna use a spray. I like spray varnishes better. But I do need to put a little hanger on the back. Ta-da! Cute little ghosty. I love this so much. So how do you think I did? Digital? Traditional. Sure, they're different, which I think they're always gonna be, but pretty similar. And I just think it's so cute. <laughs> I haven't decided if I wanna sell this yet. I may keep it, but I keep everything I make. And at some point, I'm gonna run out of space. And honestly, I think I might have already. <laughs> so we'll see. Thank you so much for hanging out today. And if you've made it this far, you've at least had a little bit of fun. Give this video a like and you can subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications. That way you will always be notified whenever I make a new upload. Thanks for hanging out and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.